so what I will do is I will give you an example of uh, the problem we are facing at the moment. Sri Lanka is, uh, is about to enter into a free trade agreement with China. Now, uh, I have a letter here sent by the Prime Minister's office. In that, it says that they have already agreed uh, to bring down the tariff, open up the tariffs up to 90%. At the moment, there are 6,800 tariff items in the customs uh, HS code book. Uh, of the 6,800, about 40% are now covered by either a duty or a cess or both. Now, uh, about, uh, about a year or so ago, before the introduction of cess, most of the packing industry, uh, they were struggling. Uh, they were struggling and then when the cess was introduced, there was a little bit of fresh air. Uh, there, is a, there is a special duty imposed by uh, the, the Minister of Finance. So when you import a commodity from India or from China, there is a certain extra duty that has to be paid at the point of import. So it is uncompetitive for someone who is bringing uh, some packaging material from China or India to Sri Lanka. Uh, because if you compare the prices between Sri Lanka uh, producers and the Chinese producers, it is not competitive for them to import from China. So therefore, uh, the industry was thriving. You know, we, we, uh, virtually everybody doubled their capacities, got in good new machinery and all that. But what is going to happen now is, now it says very clearly here in this letter, I'll give you this letter, uh, that we agreed that the tariff liberalization policy of Sri Lanka will cover 90% of both tariff lines and trade values with 10% negatively. In other words, if you take the 6,800 items, 90% of this will be open to the Chinese manufacturer. Now that will mean, as you would know, the scale of manufacture in China and the scale of manufacture in Sri Lanka, it will be like Muhammad Ali meeting Banda, you know, one first shot, he will be dead. So that is going to happen to the Sri Lankan industry. Unfortunately, most of the Sri Lankan industries don't know this. They, I mean, you know, we have been trying to say this in the papers that there, because it's already agreed by the Prime Minister's office. I'll give you this letter. Now, what will happen is that if they, if they sign this agreement, you know, we don't have any strength actually. You know, look at our interest rates, look at our labor laws, look at the scale of manufacture we have. We are, it's not possible for us to compete with the Chinese manufacturer. So this is the problem we have. So basically what I'm, so now, now uh, at the moment, uh, like I said, there are 40% of the items that in the, in the HS code is, in, is normally covered. So which means, you know, even if, we, if someone is trying to import from India or China, uh, it is not really competitive. I mean, if you look at, I'll give another example, is the biscuit industry. Biscuit industry today in Sri Lanka is a, is a strong industry. There are many manufacturers of biscuits in Anuradhapura. There are many manufacturers of biscuits in Kandy. Kandy is full of biscuit manufacturers. In my opinion, the reason for this is the kind of protection that was given uh, by, by, by the government for the local industry. Uh, what we should do really, the biscuit industry is possibly mature that they are able to move forward. They are able to even, even export. I think that's what we should be doing. There are people who are, you know, I mean, once you, once you, once you, I mean, protection is a bad word. But in a sense, if you are given protection, once you are strong, then only you can go forward. Uh, so this is what I have to say. Um, very briefly, I thought I will just say this. If you can just